Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a project to share with you today. We are making DIY astronomy flashcards. And we did this for a homeschool main lesson block on astronomy and it turned out to be a really great hands-on activity. For this project, you'll need some 90 pound watercolor paper. This measures nine inches by 12 inches and it's by Fabriano. I'm also using my Windsor Newton watercolors, but any paint medium will do. I also have a set of watercolor brushes as well. The first thing we're going to do is trim down our paper. I'm going to keep this pretty simple and just trim it down in half so that we end up with flashcards that are six inches by four and a half inches, and that makes just the perfect size. Next, we're going to watercolor the different planets on the front of the watercolor paper. I'm going to label each planet and the star at the very bottom. This is a really great hands-on project for kids of all ages. I have to say that I really enjoyed this myself. And you can do this as simple or as involved as you want it. So this is for a homeschool project for my children. They are seven years old and 12 years old. And so my seven-year-old painted hers the best that she could and maybe had one question on the back of the flashcard, whereas my son was able to do this with a lot more precision and accuracy, and he was able to add about two or three questions on the back of his flashcard. And then I was able to do this with, again, um, more accuracy and some more complicated questions. So I really love activities like this that will serve the needs of multiple grades and multiple students in a homeschool setting. Also, I love the fact that it is both hands-on and artistic as well as educational. So you can get as detailed as you want with this project. Now you can do it really simply and just do each of the planets, but for some of ours, we went ahead and we added the moons for Mars and for Earth, and that made it a little bit more interesting. And then for the questions on the back, you can do things that are really simple, like just some trivia-based true and false questions, or you can get more involved with them and do some multiple choice. Or if you would rather not do any questions at all, you can do more of a narrative on the back or a summary of any of the books that you've read related to this main lesson block or this unit study. We went ahead and we put some rings on all of the gas planets and that's because the resources that we were using showed rings on all of them and all of the resources that I've used for this project are listed down below in the description box. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add Pluto to this flashcard set because why not? I've heard that it's now been re-added as a planet, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> All right, so next we're going to add some questions on the back of the cards. And at first I had done these in pencil, but then later I decided to do them in pen. And that helps before you have them laminated. If you decide not to laminate them, I highly encourage you to do it in pen because I found that the pencil started to rub off. And before we were able to get them all laminated, some of my son's uh, narrations on the back and his questions on the back got smudged a little bit. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and we're going to laminate them next, but I want to show you what they look like before we did that. Laminating is totally optional. You don't have to do this, but after all the work that we put into it, we wanted to protect these cards and so we decided to laminate them. So let me show you how it looks in our homeschool room when we're doing a project like this. I went ahead and got most of the work done before my kids started this, and that really helps encourage them in the whole process because when they see me doing something, it kind of encourages them in the same way, and an art project like this is always something that draws the whole homeschool group together. All right, so next we want to go ahead and laminate these, and I can fit two flashcards in each of these laminating sheets. I'm also using my Mink machine, which is a crafting machine that can be used for foiling as well as laminating, and so I went ahead and used that, but any laminator would do. I recommend using the heavier laminating paper if possible. I just prefer that. And then you just want to trim them down. I gave them a small border and that's about it. And I'm really, really pleased with the way that they turned out. 
so happy with this project i went ahead and i added a few more flashcards based on some of the other lessons that we were doing for our astronomy main lesson block then i went ahead and i laminated those as well these are my son's flashcards and you can see that he did his in pencil and it turned out pretty good uh, to have it done in pencil it allowed him to erase it in case he made a mistake and i went ahead and did mine in pen so this is what they look like right before i laminated them all i'm really pleased with the way that they turned out and my children are too now we can use these in our homeschool as part of our opening activities we can test each other with the trivia questions on the back and then of course we can use this at other times of the school year just to refresh our memory for the information that we learned during in this astronomy main lesson block. Now, if you wanna see more of the videos in our astronomy main lesson block, you can tap on the screen right now. If you want more information about this project, you can find it on my website at pepperandpine.com. And if you wanna see what our homeschool looks like on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at pepperandpine.